Hello friends, welcome to Defense Ops. Today we will talk about the unmanned combat aerial vehicle. Unmanned combat aerial vehicle are in present for ground support and in future for air combat assistance. The concept was simple. We had UAVs which were capable of flying high and for longer duration. All we had to do is to arm them and to add target designation system. The mixture was a miracle. an air support which is there to keep a good watch on the ground troops performing their operations as well as instant air support on one call the modern military drone as known today was the brainchild of john stuart foster junior a nuclear physicist and former head of the lawrence livermore national laboratory in 1971 foster was a model aeroplane hobbyist and had the idea that this hobby could be applied for building weapons he drew up plans and by 1973 dapa built two prototypes called priory and calera they were powered by a modified lawn mower engine and could stay aloft for 2 hours while carrying a 13 kg load in the 1973 yom kippur war israel used unarmed us orion fire b target drones to spur egypt into firing its entire arsenal of anti aircraft missiles the mission was accomplished with no injuries to israeli pilots who spoon exploited the depleted egyptian defenses in the late 1970s and 80s israel developed the scout and the pioneer which represented a shift towards the lighter glider type model of UAVs in use today. Israel pioneered the use of unarmed aerial vehicles for real time surveillance, electronic warfare and decoys. But today we will talk about a very famous UAV which India is planning to acquire. The name is General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper or the Predator B. The MQ-9 is a large, heavier and more capable aircraft than the earlier General Atomics MQ-1 Predator. It can be controlled by the same ground systems used to control MQ-1s. The Reaper has a 950 shaft horsepower turboprop engine compared to the Predator's 115 horsepower piston engine. The greater power allows the Reaper to carry 15 times more ordnance payload and cruise about 3 times the speed of the MQ-1. They are semi-autonomous and are monitored and controlled by air crew in the ground control stations or CGS including weapons employment. According to 2019, the price of one Predator B is US 15.9 million dollars. A typical MQ-9 crew includes a pilot, sensor operator, a mission intelligence coordinator, and the system consists of multiple aircraft, ground control stations, communications equipment, maintenance spares, and personnel. As we have already discussed, it is powered by a 950 shaft horsepower turbo shaft engine, which gives it a maximum speed of 480 km per hour. and the cruise speed of 280 to 310 km per hour it has a wingspan of 20 meters and maximum payload of 1700 kg endurance is 30 hours when conducting intelligence and reconnaissance missions which reduces to 23 hours if it is carrying a full weapons load talking about weapons it can carry hellfire missiles and 250 kg laser guided bomb giving the maximum range of 1850 km and service ceiling of 50000 ft these numbers are actually excellent numbers and this aircraft can provide a very effective and long support to the ground troops on their missions becoming their intelligence source and air support whenever needed in comparison to the close air support aircraft which takes time to support and can only provide for a limited time which is far far less than these drones The main sensor of the MQ-9 is Raytheon ANAAS-52 multispectral targeting sensor suite which includes a color monochrome daylight TV, infrared and imaging intensified TV with laser range finder and laser designator to designate targets for laser guided munitions. The aircraft is also equipped with the Lynx multi-mode radar that contains synthetic aperture radar mode that can operate in both spotlight and strip modes. 
and ground moving target indication with dismount moving target indicator and maritime wide area search capabilities. In early 2014, Argus IS on board the MQ-9 got IOC where the coverage area expanded to 100 km square. The system has 368 cameras capable of capturing 5 million pixels each to create an image about 1.8 billion pixels. Video is collected at 12 frames per second, producing several terabytes of data per minute. This system gives great detail of the image and anytime it can be zoomed into focus on particular area while still maintaining a track on the wider picture. The AI is capable of identifying different moving objects and can maintain the track. Any number of windows can be opened for surveillance. Like in the video, over 60 locations are zoomed in from the total field of view and an object as small as 6 inches can be seen from this system. It stores around a million terabyte of video a day. On 25th February 2016, General Atomics announced a successful test flight of the new Predator B ER version. This new version has had the wingspan extended to 79 feet, increasing its endurance to 40 hours. Other improvements include short field takeoff and landing performance and spoilers on the wings which enable precision automatic landings. The wings also have provisions for leading edge DIs and integrated low and high band RF antennas. If joined Indian Armed Forces, it will surely be a game changer. On this note, let's end it. Like, subscribe and share. Jai Hind.